Hi, views are very important in our day-to-day -day applications. In a lot of our applications, views are stored in the folder resource and the views folder. Okay, so everything you see in your application in the browser most likely comes from views. Okay, so before we get started, um, let's create a simple route. So let's go inside of our routes.php file and let's say route. And we're going to create one route and we're going to call it my view. Okay. So in the second parameter for the route, we're going to create an anonymous function and we're going to return some string. So the string will say my view, just so we know that the route works. Okay, so back in our browser here, let's just go to that route there, my view. And we have an error on line 55, so let's see what that is. Yet again, I made a mistake in spelling return. Right, so back in our browser, we refresh, we get my view. Okay, but that's not pretty useful for this tutorial. Since we're talking about views, we don't want to be returning um, just static text like this. So what we want is we want to create some file, for example, like an HTML file that is going to get returned to our browser. So create a fi file called myview.php inside the views folder. And inside there, let's just say, I create an h2 and say coming from the my view file okay so that's pretty much it and inside here all we have to do is use the helper function view which laravel provides for you and inside the first parameter for that function you just pass in the name of the view that you want to return in this case let's just say my view without the php extension so back in our browser let's refresh and we're going to get um, whatever is in that view file coming from the my view file and you can nest this inside another folder so let's create um, another folder um, called nested um, so nested and inside nested let's just say my view nested or my nested view dot php so get another header file say coming from nested view so we save that so let's go in our routes.php let's create another route so say my nested view and you can call this pretty much anything. It doesn't have to correspond to exactly the name of your route here. So let's just say my my view to instead of my nested route, nested view. So inside here, we want to return the view which is named my nested view dot php. And remember, you don't pass um put in the dot php extension. So let's just say nested. Save that. Go to the browser. Refresh. And we get the same um, output from the previous view. So obviously the reason for that is we have to change the URL to nested. So we add nested in between and press enter. It says not found exception. So let's see what happened here. Okay. So as you can see, we do not have a route called my nested view. We only have a route called my view two, which opens up the my nested view PHP template file, which is the same as this here. So let's change this instead of my nested, let's say my view to. And it says that my nested view was not found. All right, so I want to bring you to something very interesting. If you're calling views that are nested, you have to prepend the folder as well and then put a dot in between them. So in this case, if you want to get access to my nested view, remember in the first instance, we did not use any or um, we do not have this my view in a folder so we can say my view directly and it will work but this time we have to say nested that is the folder that is in and then we can say I'm um, sorry not here nested and then we can say my nested view All right so let's go back to the browser and we refresh and as you can see coming from nested view All right so you can have this um, nested views as many levels as possible or as you need to but most of the time you just have one or two levels of nesting views okay so now that we have seen how to return views from routes let's see how we can return views from controllers okay so um, let's go to our users controller over here and let's go to the create function so in here normally when you're creating a, a user you want to return some sort of form to them okay 
So we do have not yet created any views for that creating user, but um, let's just name it here first. So we say view. So let's say users dot create. Okay. So if we go to the browser and um, let's first check which um, route corresponds to create. Okay. So let's list our routes first. PHP artisan route list. Now, as you can see, um, for the users controller, the create function corresponds to user slash create. So let's go to that in our browser. So we say users slash create, and we should get an error because that view was not found. We don't have a users dot create view um, like we tried to access here. So let's create that now. So we remember we first have to create a folder um, users, and then inside there we can um, create another file called create php okay so in here let's just put some simple html there say create a new user okay so um let's just refresh that now we should see that header say create a new user okay so that's pretty simple so next what if we wanted to pass some information from um, this controller here onto this um view here so you can do that by um, passing an optional array parameter here so let's just say um, username so even though we do not have a username yet um, just say username um, uh, let me, okay so inside the view here this username variable will, will be um, accessible using PHP so let's open a PHP tag and just say echo username so if we come here and we refresh, we should see username Lamin. Okay, so we can pass in as many variables as we want. Let's just say um, password as the second array property. And then we say some password. So now it's just um, in a second variable here. Password should be accessible as well. And we refresh, as you can see, Lamin, and then we have some password. Okay, guys, so um, that's how you make use of views in Laravel. Uh, views have made lots of uses and they are a vital part of a lot of applications, uh, as I have uh, witnessed when I was uh, creating a lot of applications with Laravel. And um, I'll urge you to look deeper into them. And um, I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.